I'm very excited. I've been waiting for this day. So we're just preparing every day. Good. How'd the um, preseason game go? Did you guys see kind of like improvement and growth from, especially like from the scrimmage to the preseason game? Yeah, we definitely had improvement in some areas and then obviously some slippage in others. So it's just every game taking it one game at a time and just making sure we're getting better. But I feel like this time we were better, a little bit more cohesive and we took care of the ball uh, this time more uh, better than the first time. Right. Kurt kept mentioning turnovers. So mm -hmm. we gather that from uh, what he said. Mm -hmm. Just uh, this is Charlotte from the Athletic. What's it been like not having everyone in in training camp, and then kind of having to adjust as people are coming back, and then knowing a couple you're missing a few starters? Um, it's obviously a little tough because we're missing like a, a lot of our veterans. You know, they carry the way, they pave the way for us. But um, it's just an adjustment that we have to make. You know, that's how it is um, in the league. And so we just had to make sure that every day we're just adjusting. And as we add these new players, we just build our chemistry and we're able to just um, get better as a team every day. So we're just excited to have our full team. Hopefully in the next week, we'll have everybody here and just get rolling. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> this is a little bit of a different question, but um, the documentary on the bubble seasons coming out this week. I know also you, you're a filmmaker of sorts too. You do you know your vlog, so I know you have an eye for that. But um, are you excited to A, see it, and also just um, do you think it's important that, you know, this, what you guys went through and all the sacrifices you made is gonna be showcased now to a wider audience so that people can actually see, you know, why you guys were doing what you did, not just, you know, basketball standpoint, but with all the activism too. Um, yeah, I'm so excited to see it. Cause one, you know, it was a historic year. The first time being in a bubble, what we were standing for, what we were using our platform that year for, um, in the bubble. And so being able to see it replay and be able to re, uh, relive it and you know, down the line, I can watch it later in life, watch it with my kids. And it's just you know, great to relive those moments. And then it's good to show people you know, what we were going through you know, in the bubble. It was a tough three months, um, especially with things going on outside the bubble, um, but we were able to come together and stick together and unify. And so they'll just see how, um, and as a league, we're just united in how we do things in solidarity and how every decision, you know, we sat down with the entire league, all the players and be like, do we wanna do this? And so, you know, being able to see the behind the scenes where really all the stuff that took um, putting into like, you know, making the bubble, the games, you know, how, what we go through, it's going to be really good that people see, you know, what we do as athletes, especially going on with COVID and how we were able to just have a fun season in the midst of all this craziness. Yeah. How much did you know, like, did you, was it present that like the cameras were there? Like, did you know, like during the time, like this was happening? Cause I don't think the like fans or whatever found out till later on, but how, how much did you know about the documentary being made at the time? Yeah, at the time, we didn't know much. I mean, we did have cameras follow us as we were in, you know, the hotel on the campus in the games, but they didn't announce it until later on in the bubble that they were planning to make a documentary of, you know, the whole 2020 season. And so we didn't really know. So we were just, you know, seeing the cameras going on, you know, acting normal, you know, just <laughs> right day to day routine but you know they finally told us okay we're gonna take all this footage that we had because we had great footage from you know the candlelight service we had the um stand in the sit-in games all that stuff we had all the film and we had meetings um beside i mean uh, meetings um on the side for those things and so they had the cameras there and so they were like you know why don't we just turn it into a documentary because this was a historic yeah. season like I said and a lot of us are going to look back and be like I was a part of that you know I was there and so um I think it was a great idea and I'm really excited to watch it this week I can't believe it's been almost a year yeah it feels like crazy. kind of forever ago but also like two weeks ago at the same time exactly <laughs>